Welcome to Big Blend Radio, where we celebrate variety and how it adds spice to quality of life. Welcome to the Big Daily Blend, everyone. Today is January 11th, 2024, and it is known as National Arkansas Day. I can say it. I'm getting there. Uh, You know, we love Arkansas, the natural state. Nancy and I travel to it every year on our Love Your Parks tour. And once we got there, we kept, I don't know, it's one of those places you keep circling back to. Not only is it beautiful uh, and full of nature, yes, national parks like Hot Springs National Park, uh, Little Rock, uh, you know, the, the history of Little Rock uh, is amazing. You've got the Little Rock Nine and an actual high school that is part of the National Park Service. They've got a gazillion parks, state parks, I think it's 52, all free. And uh, we love going there. And one of the main things we do whenever we go to Arkansas is we have to go see our friends Tiffany and Bob Bertram, who own and run uh, Tiffany's Bed and Breakfast. I think they were the first people we met in Arkansas in person. Well, one of them. Yeah, because we did Little Rock, too. But um, I don't know. They just keep us going around there and seeing them every year. And once you go to that bed and breakfast and meet them both oh, and beautiful. eat their brownies, have their breakfast and sit on their porch that overlooks this beautiful forest area. And you mm-hmm. can see owls and all kinds of birds and oh, gardens. Awesome. Um, you're going to be like us and keep going back every year. For some reason, we go every summer. I don't know what that is, but apparently <laughs> Arkansas in the summer suits our bodies quite well. So I encourage you to go to Tiffany's bed and breakfast.com, but welcome back, Tiffany. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Hey, you, are you getting excited because it's only a few months away for the eclipse? This is going to be. I am very deal. excited. Three yeah, months yeah. away. You guys are going to be uh-huh. on the path of totality. I mean, mm, we are. So I'm going to call you up and go, totally, dude. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totality, dude. <laughs> I know, totality. Well, you know, one of the actors from Days and Confused was in a movie that was filmed in just around the corner from you, just saying, so mm-hmm. we can say, dude, oh. all we want. Um, but yeah, Arkansas, you know, so Arkansas has a National Arkansas Day. It's not on the actual mm-hmm. statehood day, which is June 15th, 1836 is when the territory Arkansas became the 25th state of the United States, uh, joined the union. Mm -hmm. So um, in June, we get to, you know, refeature this wonderful conversation and um, just celebrate Arkansas all over again. I think it's kind of cool that you have two special days to celebrate Arkansas. Don't Mm -hmm. you? Apparently, there's just so much to celebrate. They couldn't fit it all into one day. So they had to do it twice. Hey, why not? Hey, well, (laughs) listen. You're in Bismarck, and I want to tell people you are out in the countryside. You're um, in a beautiful region. You've got, how, is it 60 acres that you have at the, acres, at the B&B? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 60 acres with an old mine on the property from the Bismarck mm-hmm. mine, right? And then on top of that, you're only, you wouldn't believe it, but only like 10 minutes or some 10, 15 minutes to Hot Springs itself, the city, which doesn't feel like just, a city, you know. Just 14 miles. So you can mm. feel like you're out away from everything, but yet we're close to everything. You are. So mm. Hot Springs is not that far from Little Rock either. I mean, I don't think mm-hmm. Arkansas is that huge of a, of a state. I mean, it is, but it's not like Texas. No, right? I think you Texas. can. I mean, you can get to the any border within... I don't know. Four or five hours. Five. That's, yeah. Yeah. Four or five, five hours five. from us. So. Yeah. And mm-hmm. one of the, we've definitely, we've covered a lot in Little Rock. Um, and then Nancy and I, you know, we've done our pet sits out in Fayetteville, um, which mm-hmm. is beautiful. It's on the Boston mountains and there's that beautiful mountain pass that goes down to you. And, um, that is actually part of the old historic highway, uh, the Jefferson highway. And there's some discrepancies on what happened with all that. But Arkansas <laughs> did. Yeah, Arkansas and, yeah, people fought over this road, basically, when it got to your neck of the woods. And But it's beautiful. You Is it the natural beauty for you and Bob that got you to, to move there? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And um, it's funny. Um, I've spoken to one of our state tourism directors before and she said their hardest 
job is to get people across the border to Arkansas. And once they get them here, they've got them hooked. <laughs> so that yeah, goes with what we were saying at the beginning is once you go, you just, um, I mean, you've got, you've got alligators in the southern part, like by Texarkana. You've got the swampy mm-hmm. woods, you know, backwoods, and then you get into the actual forests and areas that don't have the gators and stuff. But and I mean, you guys, in, you guys invented the fried pickle. That's what? Be I did not know something. that, Nancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, Nancy always comes no, up with you, weird stuff on our no, show. You, you, you invented fried pickles. I mean, okay. I, I love no, fried pickles. No, I think that's good. Also, the Bowie knife. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cheese filled hot dogs. Yes. Pimento and cheese the, is a big deal in your area. area. And very the big. Wonder, the Wonder Horse. So I had to look up the Wonder oh. Horse. I'm like, okay. Alrighty then, moving right along. But <laughs> you're also one of the few states that actually has a law passed with how you should legally say the name. Yeah, how you can. That? You can. There's quotes about that. You can actually. Yeah, yeah. it's illegal to say. Arkansas. You're not allowed to say yeah. Arkansas. No. Even though well, coming Tiffany... from a coming from a born in Kansas girl, it is kind of hard every once in a while. I do slip up. <laughs> well, see, yeah, it's funny, you know, how they pick that name. Okay, and then don't call it this way, even though Kansas is Kansas. Now this is Arkansas. Yeah, right. but don't forget, don't forget, you also have Texarkana. These are cities and yeah. towns. And you've got, it's, you've got tiny, tiny towns. Um, you've got, um, I think there was a happy or something. I know Texas has a happy, but I think you guys have like a happy kind of thing too. And then you've got like Arc, Arca Philadelphia, Arcadelphia, yeah. Arcadelphia, Arcadelphia. Uh-huh. Arcadelphia. Yeah. I mean, yep. it's, it's, Interesting. Little Rock, Little Rock is interesting because it's right on the Arkansas River. And Nancy and I have mm-hmm. basically followed the Arkansas River and Highway 50, which goes across the country. Um, we've done Highway 50, I think, pretty much the entire stretch across the country, like entire Fun. stretch. No joke. Um, mm. so yeah, it's interesting to me about the names, but, um, so you have a lot of lakes, and that's kind of the other thing going to what you have. Is it Lake De Grey or De Grey Lake? I always mess up every single podcast it with is you on this. De Grey Lake, and then it's mm-hmm. Lake Washita, Lake Catherine, and Lake Hamilton. So all four of those lakes are within a stone's throw of us. Well, the name Arkansas means people who live downstream. So it makes total sense. Ah, mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. With all the yeah, lakes and thanks. rivers. Okay, yep. wait, and you've got diamonds. Oh yeah, diamonds. Maybe not in your we shoes. Are the, we diamonds. are the only shoes. state in the country that has diamonds. Well, you have the three largest diamonds found in America were found in Arkansas, and it is the yeah, and you have the only active diamond mine in the United States. So. Woohoo! Uh-huh. If you want a diamond, yeah. go to Arkansas. Go buy but a so, wedding ring. This is the truth. And, like, and I'm, we can go dig for diamonds, literally, not in our nose, but actually in the ground in Arkansas in the state park. Like you can go to a park and get rich. Yep. Like literally. And when you get tired of looking for diamonds, you can go find crystals as well. This is one of the largest crystal deposits in the country, I believe. Well, that, yeah, because it comes from there, but. You know what I find the most interesting is that <laughs> you're the home of the Fouke or Fouke or Falk Uh-oh. monster. Falk According monster. to the, the <laughs> Falk, who is the cousin uh-huh. to Bigfoot. Come on, dudes. That is so cool. I want to go <laughs> see Bigfoot and his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> but you also have Tiny Town around the corner from her too. So you got Bigfoot oh, and do. Tiny Town. Yeah. So wait, so so Bigfoot, you've got like an Arkansas Bigfoot in the woods. I know. Yeah, oh. I don't know the whole story of that, but I hear He's lots related. of people talking about it and claiming they've seen it and Oh, there's a whole bunch. It. 
And there's people who've turned in photos, but obviously they're not exactly. Well, yeah, it's kind of like a photo. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> you're cracking but me up. It is, it, no, but it is interesting because you have a lot of legend, legends say, you know, and to have both, like you have Bigfoot's cousin. Mm-hmm. So where was Bigfoot <laughs> born? You know, like it couldn't been that far away. No, come Good on. Question, so, Nancy. Yeah, I know. So now I'm on a Bigfoot trail. You know, <laughs> but I also know, but Bigfoot's also in the redwoods. So Bigfoot is spread out around. He gets the country. around, but I don't know how far his, his cousin goes. I saw, I saw the Bigfoot in the music uh, video done by the Red Hot Shame on the redwoods. And so he was in a music video. So therefore, but they have a giant chicken, a chick, not a chicken, the chick. So they have a Bigfoot and a chick. So, okay. okay, I know. This is just a <laughs> normal podcast here on Big Blend Radio. Yeah, okay, so you got really. Bigfoot in the forest. You got all these things going on, but you were talking about crystals. So is that like the crystal bridges thing? There's like a crystal. Bridge? No. Well, I mean, that's probably where they got the name, but um, the crystal vein is just between um us and uh lake wasita so it's right outside mm-hmm. of hot springs oh i'm glad you said the lake Ooh. name because you know i always mess that up washita. Um, I, can't pronounce, I, I know <laughs> washita i always say washita you know that was washita. Washita. um you have to go you native know. american washita yeah i mean They're it's, it's really so i do want to touch on i mean little rock is a state capital so much history we've done so much there and loved it and um the history is complicated right um being in our uh-huh. so it's complicated and i'm going to put it that way um <laughs> and there's a and and it the most important thing is to go and experience it and go to places you know uh through like the national park service interpret it without any slants let's just put it that Mm -hmm. way Mm -hmm. and so i think it's important to go to those museums in little rock and hot springs too yeah but hot springs you got a hotbed of crazy history you have the actual hot springs and hot springs itself is like the sparsity of america and it's um was actually almost designated the first national park but it's the first park that's also national park which is also a town and a community so the actual town the downtown of hot springs is part of the national park which has all these Mm -hmm. bathhouses which were like the where all these athletes came to clean up you know during their off season but apparently shenanigans went on in your city is that is that right hello you know tiffany there is some there's stories yeah (laughs) (laughs) The, the baseball players the mob um, you know, so horse racing, gambling, I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> oh, and don't leave out you are the home of the world championship duck calling contest. Are you it's kidding me? Where are you calling this yeah, stuff, Nancy? No, it's the longest <laughs> longest running duck calling contest in history. Come are you on. Me? No. Duck calling is very popular in eastern Arkansas. What? I mean, duck duck hunting. Oh, oh so yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, yeah. but then, but then but anyway. So the um, hot springs was named a the first national reservation before the National Park Service ever existed. Mm-hmm. Um, Andrew Jackson named it a reservation, national reservation. Um, and then when the National Park Service came along, they were added to that. So. That's why we claim to be the first national park. We existed before the National Park Service even came along. I love that. Um, That's so cool. But then around um, somewhere in the 20s, maybe, I don't know the exact dates, but um, the owner of the Chicago White stockings not the white socks the white stockings mm-hmm. at the time stockings. decided he needed to get his baseball players out of the cold and get them back into shape um before baseball season started so he thought i'll take them down the hot springs they can soak in the hot springs um take the baths kind of dry them out 
after the off season, get them in the shape, in shape, running up and down the hills. Um, and then once they got down here, they found out, oh, there's horse racing and maybe some illegal gambling and Ooh. a few members of the mob were down here, but, um, yeah. <laughs> the word got out and more teams came. And so Hot Springs became the first home of major league spring training. So wow. we've got Hot Springs and mob and horse training and Baseball. baseball spring training. Mm-hmm. There's a quite a varied history to Hot Springs. It's really and, fascinating. And, and and also you've got a lot of political history, which we won't go down that road because I don't want everybody to get mad at us. <laughs> hey, no, no matter no, what we no, say, wait, wait. you do you do have some political you, history, uh, which is so, fascinating. We do yep. have a have a famous president from here. Yes. Well, also. Arkansas Hattie Wyatt Caraway from 1931 to 1945, first woman elected to serve a full term as a United mm-hmm. States senator. Check mm-hmm. that yeah. out. I yeah. have I have read a book yeah. about her. She was a fascinating woman. Yeah. So we got to say, okay, so there's, you know, Bill Clinton, you've got Huckabee, um, you've got, yeah, I mean, you've got all these different people that are part of it, but... Um, I also find what's so cool about Arkansas, uh, other than the nature, with the 52 state parks. So like you were talking about, there's a park a a week that you could experience. Literally. And they're Mm -hmm. free. The state parks are free, free, which is awesome. You know, so I think um, uh, that to me is one of the best things, you know. But there's also... Okay, so we talk about the Jefferson Highway, which, you know, Nancy and I love. We do a show every mm-hmm. uh, fourth Thursday on the historic Jefferson Highway, which, which runs from Winnipeg, Canada to New Orleans, Louisiana. So Arkansas is part of it, and we've actually done that part of it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. There's Fort Smith. There's all kinds of parks along that route. And you wouldn't believe, like, there's just small towns that you're driving through. A lot of art, a lot of artists kind of. Place. I think there's a lot of arts that people don't realize Arkansas just is like a, it's an art haven, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know yeah. Fayetteville, when we stayed there, was uh, when we were in Little Rock, for sure. Uh, Hot Springs, definitely. You guys even have all those murals. And, um, you know, if the mob was going to be there, you know, and the baseball players, you know, they're going to have music, <laughs> too. So there's festivals mm-hmm. all over. But there's also Hot the Springs rock and Go ahead. Go ahead. Hot Springs has actually been named one of the top small town art cities in the country. Really? Cool. I didn't know so, that. Yeah. Cool. Lots of arts and, uh, and artists of all kinds of mediums here. I love awesome. that. And every the first Friday of every month is um, gallery walk. So all the downtown galleries will stay open late and you can go take oh, a look. I and cool. have new artists and on hand and it's really fun that's cool we that's did that in little cool. rock the first time we went to mm-hmm. little rock it was the year before covid and of course mm-hmm. it was august see you know how we mm-hmm. always go to arkansas <laughs> in august it is a thing uh-huh. apparently and um well, or at least summer july or august why not we do the same thing in louisiana it just happens but um <laughs> i personally love it nancy and i will do anything for warm weather um mm-hmm. and you know, Little Rock does this, I think it was the first Friday of the month or something or Saturday when we were there, where downtown, downtown Little Rock, you go from place to place to place. And there's live musicians or artists on display. We watch potters, singers, uh, trumpet mm-hmm. players. I mean, it's it was awesome. amazing. And we had so much fun. And mm-hmm. we were doing it with the Visitor Bureau there and on a media trip and did some restaurants. And they're very farm to table focused food. In Little Rock, which I did not know was going to be that way. We also went to the very first distillery in the state. Uh, listen, this is um, this is so much fun. I I <laughs> love it there. Um, well, because they had to fight to be the first distillery. Rocktown oh. Distillery is the very first distillery in the state after Prohibition. And mm-hmm. uh, the, the owner did it. And we, we it was a chance meeting. We were very lucky to sit down and have an interview with him. So everyone, normally we do a recipe of the day, which we're going to do, which will link through to one of Tiffany's recipe videos with us and recipes. And I'll put the link in the show notes. Everything we talk about on today's show, the links are in the show notes for this. 
Um, when we did went to Rocktown Distillery, we did an interview, and I could barely speak. Literally, had a couple sips, and like couldn't even remember what we're we were like, talking Whoa. about. <laughs> I had a good time. I had a good time, and then we went to the forty nine. Uh, 49ers just uh brewery they have breweries all through there Mm -hmm. um and but that that when we they like set us free like go do the art thing and we were parked we were in a hotel downtown and nancy and i went a little wild and (laughs) we had way too much fun in little rock downtown little Mm -hmm. rock that night (laughs) there's no driving involved we were just meeting artists and musicians. In fact, I That's actually fun. found one of their cards in my wallet just the other day. And I'm talking mm-hmm. about this has been a few years. It's kind of weird, right? But we went, um, I, I just, there's something special about it because Little Rock and Hot Springs doesn't feel, I know they're cities again, but it just doesn't feel that way. And people no. seem very... Um, they're friendly community focused in a way uh, you live there tiffany um i know you're just outside hot springs but like 10 15 minutes who that's nothing mm-hmm. but um is it that way with the arts and everyone getting together to and and like the farm to table that everyone seems even fayetteville where we were farm to table was part of it um it was just very you know you could get local produce locally like right there kind of thing oh yeah um mm-hmm. yeah it just feels very normal living that we kind of forget about in other parts of the country you know <laughs> the quality it's of life just, would be the term right yeah, now, right it's, it's it's friendly it's warm and welcoming mm-hmm. and it and they still have they you know people oh they don't have the standards we have in new york well i'm sorry mm-hmm. i beg to differ <laughs> I do. I think there's, I there's definitely a pride. Yeah, mm. there is. There's pride in mm. what they do, what they say, how mm-hmm. they act. But and a lot not, of yeah, not, a lot of agriculture. Yeah, and oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Like I was reading, there's like over 12 billion trees in Arkansas. Wow. That's a lot of trees. Over half the state a lot is of covered trees. in forest. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and worth visiting mm-hmm. yeah and it, because they've allowed nature to be still part of their existence which yeah. i for one seriously appreciate and i think it's part of right. the, the um farming too going back to the agriculture it's such a big deal because it's um no cotton has been grown there but there is also just crops and it doesn't seem like it it just seems more of a smaller farms and then um, there's also, let's go back to the the ancient beings, the, you know, the ancient uh, people, the Native American tribes and the ancestors of the land. Um, when we went to the Toltec mounds outside, um, oh, I think it's, uh, oh, I'm going to, I'm not going to get the town right, but it's near Little Rock. And yeah, it's just south that, of Little Rock. Yeah. That blew my mind because there's here's these ancestral mounds and people think, oh, are people buried in there, right? No, it's actually the indigenous people where they buried their trash and things. And But you find mm-hmm. things. Um, there's a lot of archaeology going on there and it's really a special, special archaeological spot. But they also have like an oxbow lake you can go on, which is a little swampy. You go, oh, I don't know. Maybe there are gators. <laughs> And then, um, I mean, those mounds are incredible. And they have a, a garden there, an ethnic garden, botanical garden, very small. Uh, it's, it's for the Plum Bayou people, Bayou, Plum Bayou people. And, um, I mean, we saw monarchs and like a full That's ecosystem happening. Awesome. And they were even growing things like passion fruit. And of course, the three sisters, which we're very connected to from being in the Southwest. Um, so it was, you know, very much like, here's your corn, your maize, you know, your maize and things like that. And, um, and squash. Is it corn, mm-hmm. beans and squash, right? Normally, um, that were growing. And so it was very interesting to see what people were living on and how they were sustaining themselves. Now you could turn around and you'll find the same kind of history in hot springs. Um, hot springs, uh, that's what we talked about beer. You guys have your, the only brewery in a national park, I believe. 
that is, right. you know, being, and I think they use the water there. It's really interesting. Got, uh, super, is it yes, superior? They use the thermal water. The thermal superior water. Superior bathhouse brewery. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the, and the beer is good. And Priscilla Sock Monkey loved it there. And so did we. Yes. Um, of course you <laughs> have to go. She took a bath while she um, drank a beer. Yeah. And we do have <laughs> articles and everything. We'll be linking articles in the show notes to Arkansas. Some of the stories, not just us, but also like travel writer Debbie Stone had a good time. Um, but you have a botanical garden. So that's something I wanted you to do. touch on because isn't mm. there like a giant tree house or something that people can go in? Yes. Yes, it's called Garvin Woodland Gardens. Um, mm. Supposedly, they're one of only a handful of wooded botanical gardens in the country. Um, so part of it is pretty formal gardens, and then part of it is just a woodland area out on the mm. peninsula of Lake Hamilton. Um, and they do have a huge um, tree house that the it's run by the um, University of Arkansas. And their um, architecture school um, built this treehouse out there. See, this and is then you've got your garden. I mean, Bob. And, and then we got really, Bob's garden. Bob's yes. garden and all the Japanese maple and all the forest. You have so many. It's actually pretty interesting because, you know, Nancy and I have gone on all the trails on your property. Mm-hmm. How one side, I mean, in 60 acres, the variety of trees and how mm-hmm. the landscape and microclimate will change within just one trail over here and one trail over there. And yeah, how the creeks amazing. are, you have deer. Um, remember the barred owls? That was the first oh, time we met that you. Was mm-hmm. So cool. <laughs> that, that we was came one out. Of the coolest things ever. It was when everybody opened up after COVID. We got to you and we'd spent a night downtown, mm-hmm. uh, hot springs. And then came out to you, and then you're like, "Well, you got to go here, here, here." And Nancy and I'm just like, "Can we just sit on your patio, like <laughs> not your patio, your porch? Because it's like house. a log, it's a log, like a giant log cabin. Your house is like a giant uh-huh. log cabin." And we watched those barred owls and fireflies uh-huh. coming up at night. And the barred owls, it was dusk, and the barred owls were teaching their babies to hunt. Yeah, and then you know during awesome. the day we're watching hummingbirds and cardinal. I'm like. Do we really need to go and explore? We just want to sit <laughs> here and drink wine well, all day long. It's so it's so rare that you can connect um, quality accommodations and service with nature. It's so rare, right? Yeah, right. You know, That's a good and point. and it you know for us to be we're comfortable, we feel safe and secure, but we could still see nature. That is so. Rare. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a that's shiny a Africa. Thing. That was Africa was like that, it's, and so I think yeah, well, you've got that. I wouldn't say I wouldn't. Well, no, because we go out on a safari, <laughs> and, and you could go on a you go on a safari, and you could there, have cocktails. But... Yeah, but I mean, the you could have cocktails and and watch rhinos while you're watching. You know, you. I mean, I know, it, it's it's there insane. Was like, a, be ready to start your car at any moment. No, I know, <laughs> but come on. No, no but, rhinos but, at Tiffany's Red and Breakfast. No, no, there's no rhinos <laughs> unless I'm there. But, but it, it's but like, I'll how do you stop owls, a rhino from talking? Owls teach their babies, right? And, you uh, know, we, okay, we're probably like 80, 90 feet away. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. not far at all. Not, and <laughs> far not really the to the it. They were comfortable enough to teach their babies how to hunt. It was the most, one of the most and, enjoyable experiences ever for me um well, mm-hmm. i would like That's to true. go and do listen mm. you have that fire pit down there we haven't done that and we come see you every year we have not done the fire pit and has yeah. s'mores yet you know how have you I don't missed know. the fire pit because we're stupid i don't well, know because we're always <laughs> I, I don't know but us. like when we're we're I mean, the fire pit to me is so cool. You're out in the woods. And I think, you know, when people have the eclipse thing, they're going to love, I mean, all your guests, mm-hmm. um, everyone, Tiffany's bed and breakfast.com. Just go there and hope that, um, they have a cancellation so you can get in. I'm just saying because you don't need to go through traffic and drama of the eclipse because it's going to be weird and crazy, um, you on that time frame. We, yeah. People we, are traveling. We, we don't to get need there. a cancellation. We've got one room left right now. So. Right it, now, so go. Quick. Yeah, you better go. Um, <laughs> but you get to hang out with, you know, and the and their garden is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite things. You want to relax when you get there, 
And Nancy and I hang out with animals and gardens and travel mm-hmm. in parks. And yeah. Yeah. But we're a little stressed on our business side. Is <laughs> you know we run podcasts and magazines and stuff, so it's a little you know. But the rest of our life is really pretty darn. It's all cool, but. I when we got there, all I can say is whatever we were supposed uh, to do that day, we did not, um, no. <laughs> and it felt good. And we were like, "Yeah, but we're here, and this felt so good." And you just kind of relax, chill out. And mm-hmm. Bob and Tiffany are super fun and cool. Now, if you love music, you're going to love hanging out with Bob. Uh, mm-hmm. Bob is the the Oy. music aficionado, so I want to bring that up because um, music in Arkansas is like a vein, like. There's rice, you know, Arkansas actually grows rice, by the way. Just got to touch on that. I was, I meant to bring hey, that it in. It is in, the in country's biggest, it's the country's biggest rice grower. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know how much that has to do with music, but you have some <laughs> iconic rice. people Damn. that um, come from Arkansas. We all know Johnny there Cash, are. right? Obviously. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, we talk, and everyone, we're putting together a Arkansas, Arkansas music playlist. So check that in the show notes. Be up on Spotify and YouTube. But um, you've got Johnny Cash. And mm-hmm. then there's people like uh, Rosetta Tharp. I mean, come on, Sister Rosetta Tharp. You, you've got some of the top people ever. Like, this is insane. And, 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 Levon Helm, Ronnie Hawkins. Mm-hmm. You've got half the band that comes from there. And so that leads me to the quote of the day. We do this every day on our Big Land community on Facebook and on Twitter. The quote of the day, is, there's two because I can't resist. The first one is the sound of the blues, rhythm and blues, country music is what we live for, black and white alike. It gave right. you the strength to sit on one of those throbbing Alice Chalmers tractors all day. If you knew you were going to hear something on the radio or maybe see a show that evening, that is from Levon Helms talking about being in Arkansas. And mm-hmm. um, he was from there. And Levon Helms, I mean, come on. Ah, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. our friend Shelly King, uh, an amazing musician, uh, Texas state musician. I think the first woman in a state musician in Texas is actually from Arkansas. And every time we get to Arkansas, she's like, girls, you're in my country. You got to go here. You got to go there. Mm. Right. <laughs> but she also wrote a song about Levon Helms and, and she recorded it in his barn up in Woodstock, New York. Oh, cool. uh, so yeah. And so we'll add that to the playlist about a leave leave on helms drum set it's it's a very special song and i'll i'll also make sure we link it in the show notes to the interview we did on that um you know it's just interesting you know she's she's very proud of arkansas roots of music and um when i started going into this it it kind of it, it just blew my mind like junior walker um and then bob had some as well right that that he was saying that we need to look at um in mm-hmm. regards to musicians there's the black oak am i getting this right um yeah Ar- arkansas black oak yeah Ar- glenn campbell band. nancy yeah well there you go getting hey, to everybody a, i'm glenn know, campbell al green <laughs> J.J. Jackson, mm-hmm. who we actually saw perform outside Sequoia National Park on a New Year's Eve party. He just recently passed. Um, yeah, that's kind of a sad uh, thing. But sad. yeah, but um, he, yeah, he, he, yeah, we got to see him. Um, anyway, no, no, maybe I got the wrong guy now. I got a different J.J. Sorry about that. Whoopsie. Tracy <laughs> Lawrence, um, uh, we've got Ashley McBride, um, newer musicians. So Evanescence comes from Arkansas. Little Rock. I didn't mm. know that. Uh, I didn't either. Conway Twitty. Oh. Is it, is it Helena or Helena, Arkansas? Let me pronounce Helena. It. Of course, I'm Helena. Doing it wrong. Helena. So yeah, I would <laughs> always say Helena. That's where Conway Twitty is from. And, mm. um, that is part of uh, the background for um, the Johnny Cash biopic with um, Joaquin Phoenix, uh, Walk the Line. I love that movie. It was uh, mm-hmm. was actually shot in, okay, Dias, D-Y-E-S-S. Dias. Uh-huh. Okay, you guys have your own language. Okay, let me just put it that way. That's <laughs> yeah, where Johnny Cash is. Starting with the name of the state. And Helena. 
Um, and it was nominated for five Academy Awards, that movie. And speaking of movies, you've got Billy Bob Thornton, who's a hell of a part player and a musician himself. Um, and uh-huh. we're talking about movies, Sling Blade, come on. That was iconic. He did another movie, Definitely. too. Yeah, that was, it was filmed in Benton. Why do I know Benton? Have we been there? NC, do you Benton, think? Yes. Um, Benton is right along the interstate between Hot Springs and Little Rock. So just. And he was actually born just on the other side of Lake DeGrave from here. Oh, wow. Wow. So that's close. Yeah. And so here's our second quote of the day. I was the fattest baby in Clark County, Arkansas. They put me in the newspaper. It was like a prize turnip. Come on. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. That was, that's sad. I know. They could have wrapped him up like fish and chips, you know. It's like... <laughs> You know, anyway, oh so gosh. um I, I wanted to, so everyone, a, a good music playlist, plus um speaking of music in Arkansas, um there is also the Rock and Roll Highway of 67 that Nancy and I have been on. Now we actually mm. realize probably about four or five times in, before we knew that it was the <laughs> Rock and Roll Highway, other than yeah. there are, there's a sign and then, you know, we're on to the next destination. But mm. this Rock and Roll Highways, uh, Highway 67, um it was uh, started, it, it's because the Beatles landed in places there. Um, it, it's part of 67. It's 111 miles. And it goes through White, Jackson, Lawrence, and Randolph counties in northeastern Arkansas. Part of it is in Miller County in southwest Arkansas. And it comes from all the rockabilly music that was performed at nightclubs along the highway in that area. And so they decided to put it together. They said rock and roll and hillbilly. You know, uh, they put it together and also because of the British invasion came through and it's about musicians coming into the airports during that time. And of course, they were wanting to make sure that Jerry Lee Lewis was part of it. Roy Orbison, Elvis mm-hmm. Presley, Johnny Cash. Yes. Conway Twitty, uh, Sonny Burgess and Billy Lee Riley. These are some of them that kind of even Bob Dylan, you know, th- anyway, so it's all about the establishments that hosted these musicians and it was close to the airports for them to fly in, go do your gig and get on to your next destination. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of what happened. Even Joe Cocker was there and Steve Ray Vaughan, sorry. Anyway, so I could go on forever about these musicians, <laughs> but they were mm-hmm. kind of, it's almost like a juke joint, but you know, there were these rockabilly clubs. And so when the British invasion came in, they were like, Oh, we want to go, we want to go in the South. We want to go check it out. And so I think, Nancy, we need to do a story on this. We have to. Well, they, there's a whole lot to cover in Arkansas. Like, apparently, I don't know, because I haven't been to Alma, Arkansas. It you have. is. It, oh, well, well, it's the proclaimed spinach capital of the world. And there's a statue of Popeye, the sailor man. Because he's <laughs> spinach. Well, and there's interesting. <laughs> Gotta check it out. Names. As you I drive know. I want to go see Popeye. It's a giant statue of Popeye to commemorate spinach. I, We're I, going. We're doing that this year. I have to go it see Popeye. On the list. We're doing it. We're it, doing, yeah, we're doing you it. have to see Popeye. <laughs> okay. I like this. So, I know. I like this. Funny? And mm-hmm. then also, I read also today that the first cheese dip was created in Arkansas. And I'm thank you. Thank you, Arkansas, for cheese dip. Yeah, you are so welcome. <laughs> I love it. All right. We want cheese dip and marshmallows at the pit fire. So we have to go see pit. the statue <laughs> of Popeye pit. with some chips and cheese dip. Yeah, Nancy, but if you you have to have spinach, this is the only way I'm going to get you to eat spinach. Uh, I don't know about that, but I I do want to see any town that's brave enough to put a statue of Popeye the Sailor Man up. I want to see. Hey, so, all right, so we're going to have to find that song now, too. Uh, on the music playlist so everyone the links are in the show notes and we're also going to do a puzzle for you a jigsaw puzzle online jigsaw puzzle we'll link that the music playlist in there too uh, and we're going to do it on hot springs we've got to because tiffany's on the show and there's so much yeah. we can do with i'm like how many puzzles can we make a lot actually and also <laughs> want to touch on that that um 
we went through like Northwoods, uh, the Northwoods area of Hot Springs. Mm -hmm. And this is a popular mountain biking uh, destination. It's become bigger and bigger every year. It seems to be like, like actually like on a national map for mountain bikers, right? To come out. Yeah. Um, yeah. To your, yeah. Do Getting you get more people, popular every year. Do you have to have like a mm -hmm. bicycle place for people when they come now <laughs> to the B&B? Yeah, like you have, your, you have bicycle parking. <laughs> we do. See? Bicycle awesome. And, you have a spot they can park their bike. Nancy will tell anyone where to park their bike for you. Mm. If you ever need someone <laughs> to sit there and do that at the, at the you'll be our bike parker. Yeah, she's yes. like, here, you can park your bike right here. I love um, to ride my bicycle. I love to ride my bike. I forgot to put in there that um, you guys are a certified wildlife habitat. So, yeah. um, uh -huh. you know, the birding, do you get people coming for birding when we were talking about the barred owls? You have, we've seen bald eagles um, just down the road from you, not even five minutes, yeah. right? So, yeah. um, birding has got to be part of the people coming out to especially where you are to be it is, you know definitely kind of out of nature yeah, you can sit on that. our front porch and watch them yeah yeah you can oh man that's awesome, that's awesome. okay so, awesome. so we've got movies are sling blade walk the line johnny catch and then there's the first boys of spring so you nominated that movie it's a documentary do you want to tell us a little bit about that tiffany yeah it's a um just a documentary on how Hot Springs became the first home for um, spring training for Major League Baseball. Um, oh, and just big. about every baseball player that is in the um, Hall of Fame has come through Hot Springs at one time or another. Um, and so That's it's a awesome. really fascinating uh, movie. A lot of times, um, the Major League Baseball Network will show it, um, so mm. you can catch it on there sometimes. As, oh well, it, hey, yeah. get it while you can. It's interesting, yeah, to me mm. because that's where some of the shenanigans start, right? You know, exactly. Uh -oh. Babe Ruth was here. Um, oh gosh, so so many. Honus hey. Wagner. Um, there's a there's a whole tour you can do in Hot Springs. Um, it's called the Baseball Tour, um, and you can see where Babe Ruth hit his longest home run ever. Um, shows mm. you where some of the old baseball fields were. Um, even the Negro League played here for a while. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, man, lots I to see and do in Hot Springs. That's neat. And then. Uh, we were talking about books. We always do a book of the day, and you recommended The mm -hmm. Vapors. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. A Southern <laughs> Family, The New York Mob, and The Rise and Fall of Hot Springs, America's Forgotten Capital of Vice. What? Okay, so <laughs> tell us about this book, because I know you love books. <laughs> and by the way, at, at the B&B &B, at Tiffany's Bed and Breakfast, it's a great place to relax, read a book, and um, you have books. And... Um, I know you're working on a library, right? Getting a library that's local. I, am I allowed we're, to We're that trying. Up? Yes. That's sure. awesome. You. Why not? I love that. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Yeah. It's big, big community effort going on to do that. But um, the, the Vapors book, so Hot Springs was known as the Valley of the Vapors because of the steam coming up from the Hot Springs. Um, mm. And then back in the gangster days there was a nightclub that they built that was called the vapors um and it's actually famous for um i left my heart in san francisco tony bennett oh, that's right. was tony here bennett. No way. Tony bennett. that's right oh, yeah wow. that's why the he name played, made, yeah yeah he played the vapors and one night after he got done playing um, someone had given him this piece of sheet music and he played it at the Vapors and it was, I left my heart in San Francisco. So first wow, time it was premiered was in Hot Springs. Wow. <laughs> so much happened. Awesome. It's so interesting that Tony Bennett was around the mob. Ha huh? Just say, oh, really? You think? <laughs> I did I love So Tony the Bennett. book, The Vapors, yeah. follows um, a couple of 
native hot springs boys um and how they kind of got mixed up with parts of the mob and um just really documents that part of hot springs history and it's really interesting i go through it and i I mark down where some of these old buildings used to be you know and okay Mm -hmm. this used to be this club and this used to be this and it's really a fascinating book about hot springs Okay, so now That's you know cool. what we're doing when we come see you again, right? Yeah, we're going to go another day. We got to read the vapors book. route. We're going to do the vapors <laughs> route. Well, we're going to cool. go out and see some of these places. You know, they, yeah. when when we're in Fayetteville, by the way, they have the most amazing um, lightning shows you ever want to experience oh, yeah. in Fayetteville, <laughs> out in the woods, in the back. You know, we we, so we cool. uh, had set at this uh, little mini hobby farm with. You know, Luke the donkey. Luke the donkey has a girlfriend. I love the anyway, donkey so um, much. So we're all excited <laughs> about that. I love the donkey. But we, I loved it out there because you really are out in the country. And in the spring, late spring, summer, daylilies are everywhere. Like, it's amazing. Fields. Mm-hmm. There's like just daylilies and daylilies. And I mean, mm-hmm. Arkansas has these just these little towns everywhere. Like, you know, that I'm talking about where you just... It is mom and pop running a little diner, you know, things that you just, it is small town America when we think about it. And I don't know, man, there's just a nostalgia to it. You know, when you think about Arkansas, like the way life was is still like that, but it doesn't mean Arkansas has not progressed, you know, so you can go to the city and have all all the progressive, but when you're driving around, it's just this thing and, I remember listening, you know, because we try to listen to whatever you can find locally. And a lot of times it'll be more of a college station like Fayetteville have it or like an NPR thing if they're local. So you can get whatever you can locally. And I would always hear these historians and authors come on the radio and poets. I remember Nancy and I, you and I doing shows right when we started podcasting. We had like a poet laureate on a show. Um we had people come on the show talking about the arts of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And we're like, we have Mm -hmm. no clue about Arkansas, right? Nothing. We've never been there. We just knew there's a lot of history and it's going to be pretty. And I just remember being so enamored by what people were writing and um, the history, but being in Arkansas and listening to these programs, these people just talking about life and it's very poetic. That's the word poetic. It's poetic. Mm -hmm. It's a poetic place. Yeah. The symbol of the daylily is interesting because I, 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 this is part of what I go down rabbit holes in on researching (laughs) the symbols of animals and plants. And the daily, the daylily is a symbol of flirtatious behavior because Ooh, well, I know is. because they they last one day after they bloom, so to make it while you got it here, dude. You know, I'm <laughs> only here for like, okay. So yeah. this is not so, bed and breakfast behavior because you get two to three nights at a bed and breakfast. You don't want an yeah, overnighter. So it's like, hurry up, dudes! I'm only open for a day. <laughs> okay, well, okay, but we do. Hot Springs also has the longest running. Um, consecutive weekly open mic night in the country. Um, and it's what? called Wednesday Night Poetry. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's in a coffee shop downtown Hot Springs. Um, no and way. during COVID, they went, they were one of the first ones to do Zoom nights. Um, I think the first week oh, they, smart. someone stood outside, outside the coffee shop on the sidewalk and just recited poetry out there. Um, but yeah, it's been going for, Awesome. I don't remember how many years, but years and years and years. Wow, awesome. this is fascinating. So, you know, Nancy is talking about flowers. Well, mm-hmm. the apple blossom is the national <laughs> flower. I didn't know. I didn't even think about Arkansas and apples. I don't even know. If, have I seen it? Do you have apples? I don't think I've seen an apple tree. We do in not Arkansas. here. Huh. But um, apparently, and the honeybee is your your insect, the western honeybee. The white-tailed yeah. mm-hmm. deer, which we've seen tons of for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, pine tree is the national tree, which I would have thought it would have been magnolia, I but I get that. why it's not. But I still flip out every time in your kind of region or 
you know, Louisiana and, and Mississippi, when you see, go for a hike and you're seeing magnolias in the wild, I still literally <laughs> have to pinch myself that this is not something bought from a nursery. This is a real deal. It's a normal American hardwood tree with the most beautiful flowers on the planet. And then mm -hmm. you got the mockingbird, my favorite bird. That is my bird, <laughs> the mockingbird. It is. It is my totem bird. I don't know what it is. Nancy knows. I will find mm -hmm. the mockingbird in any place we go. The mockingbird and I are like. It's we're, like we're, I should have named her mockery or well, something. Well, no, no, because my, well, my nickname in Kenya was uh, Kusuku, which is a parrot yeah, because I can copy. Parrot. Because I can and copy. And that's what a mockingbird is here. Only uh -huh. see, a parrot, a parrot does it Over without there, was... sarcasm, but a mockingbird is mocking you. So it copies oh. what you're saying and, and giving yep. a little sarcastic yeah. twist to it, kind of like a um, news reporter. That's all I'm saying about that. Well, also, <laughs> okay, going to the vegetable, you have a South Arkansas vine ripe pink tomato. I did not know this. Did I mean? I'm just saying you have your own. I tomato. think I did. I wow. And then the you way, have milk as your I, beverage. You've got yeah. square dance as your dance. Pecans like as that. your food. We like that. Oh, yummy! Diamonds, obviously, as your gemstone and. Mm -hmm. You know, this, it's interesting to me when you start looking at things like that. I mean, you know, people had to go to legislation for these things. I know. And mm -hmm. do they ever, do they ever <laughs> update it? Do they go back and go, well, we ran yeah. out of this? You know, and there is discussion, it. there is discussion with the, within the Arkansas Audubon Society about updating the, um, changing the state bird. <gasps> No, I think oh, no way. No, no. Really? I shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> no, no, you no, can't. That's no decision has been made yet, I don't think. I don't, I'm not sure on the whole, how it all started. But, but that's interesting, oh. but that they, it is but, a legislation thing it, that happens. It, I mean, I've got the bald eagle, right? So, but it makes, it yeah. makes sense because things, because of climate change and what we've done to the earth, things are dying and, other species are coming forward True. stronger. The mockingbirds so, are not dying. I, I think They're maybe because it's not necessarily native or specific to Arkansas. Maybe I think they're looking for something more Arkansan, yeah, well, but I'm not positive. I'd say the barred owls, the, the, you guys have like, you, you've got cardinals, but I know that that's kind of taken in a lot but of places, but mm -hmm. you do have the hummingbirds. I mean, you have amazing hummingbird and, life. And there's also the other thing, the other side of changing what's our native plants, because a lot of the plants we have are not really native. They grow well here. True. They're right. beautiful. And we tend to say that they're native if they've been here 10, 20 years. But they mm -hmm. actually came on a boat. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I think the tree, I'm glad about the pine tree because I know that's real there. I mean, that's why I think people always get a shock. Like even if you go in northern Florida, you know, the panhandle of Florida is freaking amazing. People don't mm -hmm. realize you're going to see, you know, the longleaf pine and, and, you know, even getting into Texas with the longleaf and eastern, yeah, eastern Texas has it, Louisiana, you have it. And and different pines. There's, you know, all kinds of pines, but pine mm -hmm. trees, you, they don't expect it in the South. They always think, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, well, I don't know. Be tropical, People just, tropical. they just think swampy, cypress, knee mm -hmm. kind of, you know, uh, area, habitat, you know. And when you see, I, I just, you guys have to all go if you haven't gone. And if you've been, go again. It's so beautiful so to have the diversity that you have of habitat. And I think it is because you have a very outdoor culture, you know, mm -hmm. even though it's hot and it can, you get, you do get four seasons. Um, what's oh, it like yeah. in winter, by the way? We, we haven't done that very much. I think we've Well, been ask me next week. It's supposed to get pretty chilly, but, um, I mean, our, our winters are pretty mild. We don't, we got maybe a dusting of snow last Friday that was gone by noon. Really? Um, but for the most part, you know, it's, it's pretty mild. We do get, you know, it gets chilly, but, um, there are, are, we do get four seasons, but there are a couple of them are very short. 
<laughs> yeah. So winter yeah, and, there, and yeah, we, fall, we had that fall. in Africa where like you know it, everybody goes. There's four seasons. Is it going to be equal? And we're like, no. There's no. four seasons, <laughs> but they're not equal. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's it's beautiful. You have such a good growing. I, I you know what I think. It's so funny yeah. every time I think of of Arkansas. I think. Like you guys have, t- I don't know. So please, I know people are going to yell at me on this, but I feel <laughs> like you have true topsoil and maybe Bob can answer on that one, but you have like real, like dirt. I always mm-hmm. feel like you have real dirt when we go to Arkansas. I'm like, you have, like, you want to put your hand in dirt that hasn't been because it's ruined it's, by human it's hand. Arkansas Ridge. I, yeah. It's like good it's soil. Dark. You have good soil. And it's yes. rich. It is. And I, I think, think yeah. and it's not, diamonds. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's not dark. clay like some other places have clay mm-hmm. and that sort and there there is some some good dirt around here. Yeah. That's why it's the it, diamonds. It, it, it's like a, it's chocolate it, cake, y'all. Just saying. <laughs> There's diamonds in Arkansas, I'm just saying. I yes. know. I think it's awesome. Well, Tiffany, thank you so much for joining us on our big thank daily blend podcast. It's so fun to celebrate you know, a day's holiday, but for us, it's always, the theme is you can never get enough of Arkansas, so you can listen to this anytime. So uh, right. here, here, here's to being evergreen pine trees, right? So uh, everyone, again, <laughs> Tiffany's bedandbreakfast.com is the website to go to. Uh, you're also on Instagram and Facebook, right? Those are the main places for folks to connect with you on social media. Right. Yep. Go there. And all the mm. links are in the show notes for Tiffany's Bed and Breakfast. We've got her recipes, you know, because Tiffany knows how to make you a, a, the best breakfast. Breakfast and, at Tiffany. And you can't oh, beat yeah. it. And and Bob That's makes good, good brownies. And Boy, um, there's mm-hmm. a lot of music. And I can't wait for this music list because a lot of it mm. even comes from West Memphis. Not Memphis, Tennessee, but West Memphis. Something uh-huh. happened between. I mean, it's interesting to me about. Like that's a whole other conversation and podcast, but West Memphis and Memphis, you know, it's only across the river. You cross the river, but it's and, a big river. Like, music, <laughs> but there's a lot of music that was going on on both sides, and still to this day, definitely. I think that's fascinating. Um, so I hope you all go to Arkansas and enjoy yourselves. And if you're living in Arkansas, y'all know we love you out there. Even though someone did chase me on a lawnmower while I was in Arkansas <laughs> the very first time on our way to see you, someone chased me on their lawnmower funny. because That's I photographed what? a farm scene no, with a was... heron and I got chased on a lawnmower. It's the first time. And I literally and hauled funny, in the car. One of the funniest experience ever. I love it. Listen, and I'm not talking about it. on foot. I'm it talking about someone in the big mower, fun. and they're so, chasing me in the car, and I took it seriously. And like, all the oh guy, my god! All the, no, all the guy wanted to know. He wasn't really chasing you. He just wanted to wanted know, know what, what I was you photographing. Were, what he what <laughs> photographing? And well, he yelled That's at all. me, and so I ran, like literally, and drove had, off. He and had, he, Nancy's going, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "No, he's coming like, after us." I don't know. Either, but just tell him you're photographing. Maybe Aaron. he didn't. Maybe he, he just, just wanted to be in the picture. Maybe you know, he or maybe he was know. not. You know, <laughs> he but all I know, know is like, dude, we're no, out of here. He, he just wanted to know what we were seeing, and because he <laughs> couldn't see it from the lawnmower, but his uh. his mower was so loud. You know what it was? It was this off. absolutely beautiful setting that Nancy saw. We would we would oh, been we were so driving magical. in from. We were driving from Lubbock, Texas oh, to Hot Springs. And yeah. then we were going to go see Bob and Tiffany next, right? And we just did this long drive overnight. And all of a sudden, as soon as we got through Paris, Texas, and by the way, listening to uh, JJ Kale, by the way, it's a good book that you can get. <laughs> Bob and Tiffany, JJ Kale through this because of Paris, Texas. Like mm-hmm. I wanted to spend the night in Paris, Texas. Well, anyway, that's a whole other story. There you um, go. But anyway, we started driving and it was hot summer and you could see the mist coming off of the swampy areas when you're driving at night. It was crazy mm, cool. cool. Awesome. And the music was really interesting going on the local radio station. Very multicultural, very interesting. But then put in JJ Kale. You've got to, J.J. Kale for this area. <laughs> and then we get in, 
And we ended up in Tex- Texarkana, and then it was COVID, and a lot of the parks were closed to normal activity. You could go in, but basically, like, the facilities were closed, so all that kind of stuff. So that was fun. But we went to this park um, just outside Texarkana, and I'll have Magical. to look it up. But there were all these wild, like, hibiscus mellow mm, flowers magic in swamps with like signs about mm. alligators and we're like oh we are in such heaven this like we so were so fun. excited and we went through this whole park area and we were going in the backwoods of arkansas like mm. literally and it was <laughs> so beautiful and then there was this farm area and we come through and there was a guy on his little mower with his kids and little weenie dog and we're like, nice, wave hi, and then we stopped to take a photo, and he wanted to know what it was. Well, Nancy looked and said, hey, look. And there was this beautiful. Oh, gosh, it was great beautiful. blue heron, magnificent. It, it, and the sun the, was still um, rising. And oh, so it was, it's almost like a magical. sepia photo because of the way the it's lighting magical. was of where this was, right? So you have a and, barn and, and a pond looked- and this heron. And but the hair was beautiful. Looked right at us, like, oh, you want me to I've pose got great this shots way, of this. that way? It I got great he, shots. He, it, no, he ah. just he he posed. Ah, we're gonna have to do a puzzle he, of that too now. I know because he it was such a magnificent, beautiful bird. And, and then, then the guy, guy starts coming. What are you? Hey, you. What are you? What are you photographing? And I'm like, you dude, what's, what are you growing on this side? It's so so I just halted because I didn't know what was going on. But then we, this route all the way up through the hot springs was through all these oh, tiny um, like farming communities. And there was a state park that I took the wrong road on and literally drove into the water of a lake. <laughs> I don't know what road the GPS sent me on, but also we like, all of a sudden I'm like, Nancy, if I don't reverse now, we're in the lake. I'm like, like it was okay, right... could you use your eyes and, and well, cancel the GPS? <laughs> Hello. Well, I've been driving since, like, you know, Lubbock. And it's like, no, this is the boat launch. And I'm like, Nancy, we don't have a boat. And if I screw up reversing up a hill, we're, like, in I trouble. A car. I that was a our James... introduction. No, I want to, a James like... Bond car that closes everything up and gives you air and oxygen did... and oh, floats. I know, right? Because you have so many lakes. I, I don't know how many lakes car. you have, but you have a lot. You should be part of the great a lot. lake system. You have a lot. There you go. <laughs> I know. All right, guys. I know we're being silly okay. now, but okay. it was so Stupid, much fun. Thank you, funny. everyone. Tiffany's Thank bed you, and dot com. Thank you. Take care and say hi to Bob. And oh, you know the the doggies. We got to say hi to the furry ones. You know. Oh yes, he's whining at me right now to go out for a walk. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you for listening to Big Blend Radio. Keep up with our shows at BigBlendRadio.com.